the way that your day goes all starts with how you spend it as soon as you get up in the morning. So having the proper morning routine to start your day for yourself and your team is everything when you're building a culture in your network marketing business. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am Scott Aaron, and each and every week, I am gonna come to you with simple, short, and powerful tactics and tips on what you can do each day, each week, each month, and each year to grow your network marketing business, income, and team. And just remember, network marketing is not easy but it can be made easy with simple steps to bring you the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 43 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. But before we jump into today's content, if you are a network marketer and you are looking to up-level yourself and your business in the four core areas that make up a successful network marketing business, you're looking to up-level your mindset, your organizational skills, your social media understanding, and your lead generation capabilities, then you deserve to be in my Network Marketing Academy, which is closing its doors for open enrollment on April 15th. So if you head over to www.thenetworkmarketingacademy.net, you can solidify your spot, get in, and get access to all of the past trainings that have already been going on since the beginning of January. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about, in my opinion, one of the best ways that you can go about starting your morning. And there's three specific things that I really feel people should do. And I also feel that this should be passed down to your downlines to really make sure that the way that your businesses are being built are with obviously genuine intention, but also with gratitude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through three different things that I feel you guys should implement and I'm really going to suggest a couple ways that you can do this. And, and I really suggest that you share this episode with some of your team or tag them in it You know, if I'm posting this on social media because everyone is always looking for that quote-unquote edge as far as how to take that next level in their business. But it really starts with that space between your ears, which is your mindset. So here are three things that you can do every single morning to start your day off right and properly, in my opinion, in building a network marketing business. And number one, that's practicing gratitude. So after you listen to this, if you don't don't already have one, go to your local Rite Aid or uh, uh, any you know pharmacy, anywhere where you can get a notebook, and I want you to keep it by your bed. And the best thing to do is to start your morning with gratitude because it's been scientifically proven that it is emotionally and scientifically impossible to feel anything else besides grateful when you're practicing gratitude. You can't feel sadness. You can't feel uh, anxiety. You can't feel stress. When you are saying what you are grateful for, you are literally embodying that emotion. So, One of the best ways to start your day so it sets sets the tone for your entire day is doing just that. So my suggestion is to write three things down in that journal or speak them out loud to someone. That's something that Nancy and I do uh, on the way to the gym in the morning. We ask each other what we're grateful for. And we usually say three things. You know, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for our health and grateful for the abundance that we have each day that we are given on this earth. Something along those lines. And it can be simple things. I'm, I'm grateful for the clothing on my back, the roof over my head, the bed that I get to sleep in. So practicing the art of gratitude first thing in the morning is really powerful. Now, number two kind of goes along the same lines as gratitude. And I would also, in addition to writing down three things that you are grateful for, is writing down three I am statements. So what you think about or what you say most often is what you become. 
So if you're constantly talking about that you're upset, you're broke, all those negative things, you will speak those things into existence. But if you do the reverse, you start speaking other things into existence. That's why I always make the suggestion of having three I am statements. I am powerful, I am unstoppable, and I am a positive force of nature for those around me. Something along those lines. So those I am statements, when you say them out loud, and even if you just write them down so you can read them on that piece of paper, it really sets the tone. And you couple that with the gratitude that you've already practiced you are giving yourself those positive brain tattoos that that really will last with you every single day because you can come back to those I am statements. If you're having a rough patch in your day, you know, or in your week, you can circle back around to those I am statements and really start grounding yourself and understanding that you have the power and the potential to achieve anything. So number one, make sure that you practice those three things of gratitude. Two, write down those three I am statements. Number three, and this is big, and this has definitely helped myself and and Nancy, and the first 60 minutes of your day, there is no scrolling on social media. Now, if you are a social media influencer, if you're a network marketer and you need to do a morning post, by all means, that's fine, but do not do that post for about 60 minutes. So to give you an example, Nancy and I get up between 6 and 6.30 every morning, and if people follow me on social media, you are not seeing my first post until 7 or 7.30. That is because the first 60 minutes of my day is technology-free. I wake up, I make some breakfast, you know, get washed up, maybe take a shower, get ready for the gym, talk to Nancy, take the dogs for a walk. It's 60 minutes of no technology. And the fact is, is that the reason why is that if you open up one thing, it's going to be a catalyst to others. You open up Facebook, then you're going to open up Instagram, then you're going to check your email. And then if you read something that you shouldn't, it's going to basically dilute anything that you just practiced with the gratitude and the I am statements. So practicing gratitude, writing down those three I am statements, and then finishing that off, finishing that off with the first 60 minutes of your day, technology and social media free. It will really make things feel, and you you just appreciate your morning that much more. And again, after the 60 minutes, if you need to get that first post out or do something that you need to do for your business or your brand, no one, listen, at 6, 6, 30, no one's really on social media. And if they are, they're just scrolling and trolling. They're not really doing their business. You know, take those first 60 minutes of your day and keep them for yourself and your loved ones. Like I, I love the morning routine that Nancy and I have. You know, her her and I both do not do anything business-wise before 9.30 or 10 o'clock in the morning. So the first three to four hours of our day is just us. And that's, like I said, the gratitude, the gym, getting coffee, uh, planning our day. You know, our morning time is our sanctuary. That That's when we really set the tone for our day because we know once 10 o'clock hits, we have all our stuff scheduled, it's game on. So really take these three things into serious consideration of implementing them into your morning routine. Go out and buy a journal. Go out and just buy a, you know, a, a pad of paper and start somewhere. So number one, write down three things that you're grateful for every single morning. Write down three I am statements underneath that. And make sure the first 60 minutes of your day is social media and technology free so you can really honor your family, the one that you love, and just yourself. Give yourself that 60 minutes of freedom because if you're in network marketing, you're on social media all the time, you have the technology running all the time, and it's a really, really good break and also allows you to be within yourself for that first hour of your day. So guys, I hope you found this information helpful. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. So again, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. And if you can go over to Apple Podcasts or iTunes and leave me a five-star rating, write a review and share this with anyone that you feel could benefit from this, I would be so, so grateful. 
And again, if you would like to learn more about LinkedIn and how I can personally assist you in growing your network marketing business, head over to www.scotterron.net and schedule a free 15-minute coaching session with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.